morning, everybody. Welcome again back to Jersey Bread's Kitchen. And I'm Lou. And I'm going to cook for you something really, really, really easy stuff. But it's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay? Now, come on over here, Rob. Take a look at this. My son behind the behind the camera over here, that's Rocco uh, Despirio. He's our... Uh, He's the chef du jour tonight, and uh, Rocco is inspired by me cooking all these years, and he tells everybody he wants to be a chef, so he asked me to cook once in a while to show him how I do things, okay? So we're going to get started, right? So check it out. Now look in there. That's two chickens that I'm cooking. Now I bought this pot. See this? This is a roaster pot. This is one of the best things you can buy, man. $29 over at, uh, uh, what's the place we bought it, baby? Um, Bed, Bath. Bed Bath Beyond. You get the 20% coupon, it never expires. Guess what? You take $11 off of that, and you know, for under $19, you got this big roaster pot. I love the thing. Love it, man. Nice, moist cooking. Now, I took these chickens, I cleaned them real good, right? And then I took them and I put your favorite seasoning on it. I like salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I put a little bit of Jamaican spice on it. it it's some really good stuff, man. Really Just good about stuff. everything? Yeah. You want to spice them up real nice. And that's what the chickens look like. Okay? Then we're going to take these out. All right? Whoops. I'm going to put these on top, of the, on top of the stove for a second. Right? We'll close the oven up. We'll keep that on. Now I cook these chickens. I cook these chickens over here, kid. I cook these chickens for about an hour and a half. I put the lid on for the first hour, and then the set. I did a half an hour at 400 degrees to get it nice and brown on top. Now also, you see how this not ready yet. You know when they're ready because if you wiggle it, try to shake its hand. How you doing, baby? What's up? The meat. You'll feel it, it will peel right away, fall right off the bone. Now I took some of that, and I took about four cups of water. You see the grates on there? I filled it up with some water on the grates, right? And then I took some, right here, I like to use this part, Noor chicken base. You mix it with some hot water, you take two of these cubes and you put it on the bottom. Now you got some chicken stock. Now you could use chicken stock too if you like to. But four cups is about a quart. About a quart. I like to fill it right to the top of the grates, okay? Now check it out. We're gonna take the chicken, right? Come back over here. We're gonna take the chicken, and we're gonna get one of these forks I got in here, right? And you grab it right in here, and you pull them out. Just like this. Take one, right? I get yourself a little pan. So I got a pan right there. Oops. Get yourself a little pan, you take the chickens like this, and you take the chickens out, just like that, right? See that? Just like that. Now, I take these grates, I take the grates out, just like this with the fork, put it in the sink over here, right? And you got a little bit of fat, take a little bit of fat, the skin, skin, skin and fat. You take that right out like this, and you give yourself a spoon, come on. Here's a sliding spoon. Right? Take this fat right off. Alright, that's a little bit of the, the um, skin. Yeah, skin from the chicken. Let's say skin. But take that all off, right? And you want to save the juice. Because the juice is like gold right here. This is the part that makes it all taste worthwhile, right? Yeah. So we're going to take this. That's it, okay? Now, you wanna get, I like to use brown rice because brown rice is healthier. My wife, Jamie, my lovely wife, she tells me brown rice is more, is, is healthier for you. So we're gonna take one. Come on now. We're gonna get two. Let's bring this right here. Two. Three, and four cups of rice, okay, 
couldn't plan it any better. All right. Take four cups of rice, just like that, shimmer. All right. Now I'll make you a lot. Now I'm gonna take. I call this confetti rice. I'm gonna take carrots, and you wanna cut the carrots real, real small because you don't want them to be hard. You're gonna take onions. You're gonna take peppers, and you're gonna take celery. You see that? Maybe four stalks of celery, a half a large onion, a half a red pepper, half a uh, uh, Holland, uh, the yellow peppers or orange peppers, and about uh, two medium-sized carrots. You see that? Now look, this is what I'm gonna do. These are, this is thyme right here. Thyme really peels real easy. If you take it like this, you see the leaves grow up this way, just go the opposite way. See that? And you know, you can use the tops, the tops ain't so bad. Real, real easy to cut. And you get all the leaves, right? It smells see? a lot like oregano. oregano. Nah, it's an herb, it is kind of strong, but it's really, really good in rice. Let me tell you something, Rock. The best way to cook rice is in an oven. Now, I learned that a long time ago. We used to make rice peel off. You put it in, when I was working in the restaurants, you put rice peel off in the oven. You stick it on for an hour at 400 degrees. You cover it real tight, and boy, it comes out nice and fluffy and good every time. And look, you just follow the directions. You could Listen, there's no wrong way of doing this, you know? You make it the way that you like, you know? The only wrong way is if you don't try and attempt to make it, you know? Like I keep telling you, right? So that like, so it's the rice that you're making, how you're making it in the oven, it's going to get fluffy and moist. Yeah. So it's pretty much going to be like a version of jasmine, like jasmine rice, but with brown well, rice? not really. Jasmine rice is a type of rice that I really, really love. It has a type of floral taste to it that's the only way i can explain it it's really really good uh it tastes it's a flowery taste to it like a like a like a flower you know like it, it's really really good um it's very velvety the plate the texture of it we love it love it it's it's uh it's kind of hard to cook you know but uh listen that you, if you don't try you'll never learn you know what i mean so can you use jasmine rice in this recipe though Sure, why not? Sure, you would have to well, not maybe not cook it as long, but you know, brown rice it still has the shell on it, so you want to cook it longer. But sure, jasmine rice is a little bit more delicate. You probably want to cut your cooking time down. Like I said, just follow the, the you know the bag and just follow the directions, the amount of water and everything that you put in it. You know, so we're gonna make this kind of healthy. We're not gonna put any butter or anything in it. All right, we're just gonna do it this way. Just take your celery. Some people like to sweat it first. It's totally up to you. I'm not gonna sweat it tonight. You know, sweating means that you put it in a pot with a little bit of oil and you cook it a little bit, just giving it a little bit of transparency and then you you actually... Full on cook it. Full on cook it, right? So there we go. Take the herbs right in there just like that, buddy, right? All right, doesn't All that right. look like a colorful dish? Yeah, that's why we call it confetti rice, right? Because that's what confetti looks like, right? Yep. It's got a lot of color to it, right? All the different colors. So that's how we do this. And now you take this like this, right? Now check this out. This is going to be the, this is the ticket. One of the things that I like to do is I like to make sure that the broth is seasoned enough. We did season the chicken and there's a lot of seasoning in the, in the broth, uh, uh, in the stock that I made with the, the base 